love you. I 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 Hey guys, this is an X reading, <clears throat> and this reading is for the 31st through August 7th, and this is for Aries X. All right, Let's see what they're up to Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Aries X, what's going on with? the X. What's going on with Aries X? Six of Cups, reminiscing, thinking about y'all's asses, okay? Thinking about the good times that you've shared. This person is probably sitting and daydreaming about you. They feel like you guys have something special still, okay? Shared a lot of good times together. They feel like you guys are family and they want that back. They want that back. I feel like you guys that you spend a lot of time together, um, a lot of like, not just together, but together doing things too. Scorpio energy there. Let's see. What do they think of you guys? Let's see what they think of you. What do they think of Aries? How do they perceive Aries? Ooh. High Priestess. Very mysterious. They feel like, you know, there's still a lot about you guys that they don't know, but they're very intrigued by you guys. Piscean energy here. Very intrigued by you. Um, could also be Gemini, I feel. Because you guys, you know, it's almost like you guys are kids. And maybe you guys spent a lot of time together when you were younger um, may have even been together when you were younger so I'm seeing like a version of you guys younger and when you're older maybe you guys separated at some point came back together even and separated again something like that but they feel like you guys are all-knowing too like you have your shit together and you don't talk a whole lot you don't reveal your secrets you don't share kind of private I feel with your experiences with what you think they're very intrigued by you but they feel like you guys hold a lot back to you're not sharing something with them or you haven't been sharing like in the past like they don't know all there is to know about you guys here what are their feelings about getting back with Aries feelings about getting back with Aries the tower um, I feel like this person is pulled you guys, I feel, had this very stormy relationship, too. Um, they kind of feel like things are going to be hard to put back together. Maybe when you broke up, um, it, it didn't end so well. And it was abrupt. And no closure. That type of deal. They feel like you guys are angry. They feel like your family's angry. There's a lot that I feel like was left unsaid other than the angry parts. Um, yeah, there's a lot that were that was left unsaid. This person feels like they really uh, fucked up. They, yeah. Hmm. Mars energy, Scorpio again here. <clears throat> Let's see what's blocking them. What's blocking Aries X? What's blocking them? King of Swords. They're blocking them. The aloofness. This person, 
I feel is not um, in touch with their emotions. They're trying to be a little too stern, trying to be a little too cold, um, trying to, to look at this situation very logically. And there really is no logic to love. So basically, they're standing in their own way. They have their guard up, a shield up too, and I feel like this person um, may be defending the fact, their behavior, the fact that they are right. They feel like they're right. They're justified almost in some things. Hmm. What is their next move? What is their next move? Okay, that's too much. But I am going to look at them because y'all know me. We have Judgment, Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords, the Six of Wands. They feel like the arguments, the hurt, basically is getting in the way of this, this connection with you guys um, being successful. But I'm definitely getting that this person feels like... Um, something would have to change but I'm feeling like like there's some blame here coming from them because they they feel like they're justified in some things they feel like there's there's too much hurt between you guys like one minute one minute you guys were happy and um, you know, you had this really successful relationship. They felt good about it. And then all of a sudden, there was chaos here, which we see here. And then it was over. Then it was over. Like, kaput, like done, like not coming back. But at the same time, this is what's on their mind. This is what's on their mind. It's like they're protecting themselves. It's almost like the emperor energy. Like they're, they're trying to, you know, keep themselves from truly being vulnerable. And you have to be vulnerable when it comes to love. Otherwise, you can't fall. I mean, you know, let's see. Please show me more about the Six of Cups energy. Please show me more about the Six of Cups. Please show me more about the Six of Cups. Here we go with all these cards. Oh, yeah. Mm. This person definitely feels like they need to get their head and their heart like in sync in order to make things right. In order to make things right. But you notice these are majors. So this is some really heavy energy. This is the energy that this person has no control over. So this is actually what they need to do. Like there needs to be a nice balance between their logical thinking and them opening up their heart chakra. Okay. Because they're reminiscing for sure. But here with this King of Swords energy, they're also talking themselves out of it because they're thinking about the hurt. Maybe you guys put them out of the house. Um, maybe there were a lot of arguments. Maybe you guys said some things. They said some things. But they, they feel like when they said some things, it was kind of like in retaliation for what you guys probably have said. Just a lot of tomfoolery, basically. But in order for for them to really have what is in their little cold heart <laughs> they really need to like get balanced in other words okay let's see please show me more about the high priestess energy please show me more about the high priestess this is sagittarius and libra energy here <clears throat> let's see the high priestess the Knight of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. They feel like you guys have something going on that that you are keeping to yourself. Um, that you're really 
they don't feel like you're going to come towards them. They also feel like, you know, you guys feel like you're right. To be honest with you, truth be told, they feel like you're right. So this person knows, deep down inside, they do. Even though they try to justify some things on their part, deep down inside, they know that you guys were not like the, um, the culprit or the bad guy in this situation. This person really holds you guys in high regard, honestly and truly. They feel like you guys also think about them and think about, you know, the good times that you shared, but you won't say it. You won't reach out. But they know, too, that the type of person that you are, that if they came towards you, that you would probably reciprocate, that you would just leave them hanging, that you would give a little. You're not unbendable, okay? Please show me more about the tower energy. Death. Now we've seen all of Scorpio's cards. The tower, death, and judgment. They feel like it's over, but they also feel like, and that's not death, that's the devil. But they also feel like something needs to change, which is the truth. But they don't want to see that they need to change. They don't want to see that something may be wrong with the way that they react or the way that they maneuver. You know, it's like placing that blame game is what I feel this person is prone to doing and has done. Okay. The devil is here. Capricorn energy. Now, <clears throat> I do feel like they feel that, you know, there was a lot of toxic behavior going on between the two of you. And I feel like that is the case between the two of you. Sometimes two people can be um, very toxic together, but when they're not together, they can be like perfectly happy, perfectly, you, you know, good people, high vibration, all of that. And I do feel like there's a lot of toxic energy between the two of you. I feel like this is more of an air energy for a lot of you guys. I feel like it was very explosive between the two of you. A lot of arguments, a lot of fighting mm -hmm. going on between the two of you here. Please show me more about this King of Swords energy. Look at that. Ace of Cups. They're trying to do their healing. But more so than that, this person loves you. This person loves you. They don't feel like you still love them, though. They know that, you know, you guys share this history together. And they feel like you probably think about the good times. But they're not so sure if you still care for them the way that they care for you even though they're not showing it to you you guys may not even be speaking may not have spoken in a while they're still holding on to this cup okay so I've already told you guys the signs so I'm not gonna say them again um, but yeah they're they're holding on to you guys and I feel like they're holding on to hope all right, Aries. So that's what I have for you, and um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye now. Uh, I've been blind too long. Now I finally see the real and fake. Who's down for me? The situation wasting my time. I had enough. I'm tired of the lies.
blah 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 da 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 what are you saying